Hello, are we here? Good afternoon, happy Sunday. This is Jennifer Kirk. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator from Guelph, Ontario. And we're gonna make this card today. Look how cute it is. I'm just trying to get my video up on my iPad so that I can see comments if they come in. And, oh, I better turn the volume off the iPad. That won't be good hearing me in the background, will it? All right, so we're gonna make this card today. Um, this card was inspired by Michelle Wright. Uh, she did totally different card, but um, she did the, the keyboards here and I, um, I loved that idea. So I thought that I would uh, design a card using that. So we're gonna do that. Hi Sandy, how are you? Hopefully you're having a great day. It is gorgeous outside. I think spring is trying to uh, tease us. It uh, is warm and sunny and yeah, but I heard we're getting lots of snow coming up this week. So um, we should enjoy it while it's here. Okay, so we're gonna be making this card today. This is, uh, we're using the Music From The Heart stamp set. I love this. I wasn't gonna get it. I was kind of like, hmm, yeah, well, maybe, but I decided to get it, and I am so happy I did. I've had so much fun playing with this. So this is from the um, 2020 mini catalog, this, the spring summer mini catalog, and it's way, way in the back on page 57, so some of you may have missed it, um, but it is really, really cute, and um I'm going to show you a couple of cards at the end, so stay with me, um, that I have made using this stamp set and see what you think. Okay, so I just want to remind you that I am a Stamping Up demonstrator. I do have a store, um, an online store. Everything that I'm using today, you can buy from that. So if you look here, here's my store address. If you do place an order today, make sure that you use my host code. Um, I will post it in the video below but um, it's right here for you uh, for your reference okay so let's get started we're going to make this so what what we need to make this card is we need the music from the heart stamp set i did use this little die right here for the just a note um, this is from the stitch so sweetly dies also from the um, mini catalog if you don't have the dies, you can always just cut a little square. You don't need the dies, you don't need an embossing machine um, for this card other than that little tiny thing there. All right. You could, I did use, as I said that, I did use um, this die from the In the Woods Thinlets to cut the, the piano, but this is a simple, you could cut this by hand. You don't need a die to do it. This is just easy for me, so I uh, I did do it. But you don't need, absolutely need it. You can do all of that cutting by hand. All right, so what you do need to make this card is you need a piece of basic black cardstock. So this is five and a half by eight and a half, uh, scored at four and a quarter. And you need two pieces of Whisper White cardstock, both of them at five and a quarter by four. You need a piece of basic black, which is five and a quarter wide. And I had just done it to, I believe two and a half. And then I just die cut out the bottom here. Okay. And then you need a scrap piece of paper for this. And you need some scrap piece of black to cut your keys from which looking at my table i forgot to bring over uh oh i'll get that that's not a problem all right so what we're going to do first is we're going to grab one of our i'm going to just put this here so you can still see it in the corner uh, we're going to grab our simply score tool okay and we are going to grab our scoring tool. So I am using the um, 
this has a very fine and a thicker one. I am going to use the thicker one. Okay, and I'm just going to move this down so you can see it on the camera. And all we're going to do is we're going to score, have the five and a half inch, uh, or five and a quarter along the top, and we're going to score it every half inch. Okay, so just hold your paper down and bring it down. Do it at half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five. Okay, so you see that? We just scored every half inch all the way across till you ran out of room. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our uh, basic black stamping right marker and we are going to follow those score lines with the marker. Now I realized when I was doing this card that it's almost time that I get a new marker, I think. It's doing okay. Okay, so we're just following, we're keeping the the card on the Simply Score tool and just following the lines down. All the way on all of them. And we're making our keys this way. That's what we're doing. It gets a little bit awkward in the corner here. Have you had a good day, Sandy? There we are. Okay, that's the keys. How easy is that? So we're done with our Simply Score tools, so we can take this away now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring out our paper trimmer. And I'm gonna use, which one am I gonna use? Um, no, I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use this one and some scrap paper. I don't know about you, but I, I keep all of my scrap just in, uh, of each color in, in a bag so that I can get it easily. All right, so. Now it doesn't matter how long these are. I, I probably wouldn't cut it shorter than two and a half. Um, Two and a half long right because we're going to be putting it we're going to be putting these down this way okay so i don't know two and a half inches is that long enough uh, no i'd probably go i wouldn't go less than three okay so if we go along three like this so i'm just going to cut this at three Okay, and then we're just going to cut these. These are the keys. So I'm cutting these at three eighths of an inch. So we're just gonna, we're gonna need seven or eight of them. So let's see, is that the right? Yeah, that's about right. It's nice that you have the weekend to do that, eh? To get ready? Okay, where am I? I'm all distracted now. I'm, I'm, I can't multitask these days. <laughs> I'm looking at Sandy's response. Uh, she's getting ready for her video that she's going to be doing on Tuesday. Um, I try and and tune in to watch them, but sometimes I'm stuck in meetings um, at my other job. Okay, so again, we're just doing it about three eighths of an inch and uh, we need seven or eight of them. So I'll probably do a couple of extras just so that we have them. Love this trimmer. If you don't have the new trimmer, um, I have been using this, I don't like constantly and I have not had to change a blade yet. So, um, Way, way better. Much improved over our last one. All right, I've lost count. How many do we have? Two, four, six, eight. We'll do one more for good luck. 
because some of these aren't straight. <laughs> All right. There we go. We'll move these off to the side. Pick these up. And we can put this off to the side as well. So now we have our keys and we want to put our keyboard down. So you can decide how much you want showing at the bottom. Okay, if you want them up here or down there, I, I like it about here. I don't know, I have I don't play the piano, but apparently you have two keys. Up here, it doesn't matter, okay? If, if it's a little bit short, it doesn't matter because you won't see this, this will be covered. I'm just positioning these before I put glue on them so that I'm happy with the height of them and the keys coming down, okay? And then we would actually see piece of one here, so I might stick that one on. Okay, what do you think? And then we'll take our piece of black here and decide, is that enough or do I want them down? I think I want them down a little bit further. So this is why you don't glue them on until you get your everything kind of positioned. So I think, I think I'm a little bit happier with them down this far. What do you guys think? Up higher or down lower? I think that works. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our trusty Tombow. And you do want to use a liquid glue because it just gives you a little bit of time to, um, to move around. You don't need a lot of it. Okay, and then we just want to center this on the line and glue it down. So we just repeat all the way across. How simple, eh? You do want to make sure that you're kind of lined up as straight as you can. Oh, I got two here. They were stuck together. I was wondering why it was so thick. There we go. So while I do this, um, this class, this card is available as a class to go. So hopefully I will remember to tell you all about it at the end of the video. So you do want to stay tuned if you want to be able to get this uh, a free tutorial for this and get all the supplies that you need to make it. Oh, see, I'm not quite centered there. So this is why using Tombow is good because I can move it over a little bit. There we are. Gives you just a bit of time to wiggle, which is always good when you're trying to line things up and make them all equal. I was worrying so much about getting these lined up that I wasn't looking that I was in the center of the line there. So do watch that you're in the center of the line and equal across the bottom. All right. I can move down a little bit and over a little bit. And then this one, I'm just gonna put glue on the one side of it. Hopefully I do it the right side. <laughs> All right. So, we would only see part of it because it would be hanging over. All right, we're gonna have to give that one a trim. But first, I will put this on. Okay, and then this, again, I just use Tombow, lay it flat down. Uh, we can pop up the sentiment. You do wanna make sure that you're not seeing any white at the top, so just Wiggle it around until you're covered and you're lined up. And there you go. How easy is that? Isn't that cool? Love it. Love it. Okay, bring out the snips and give this a little haircut here. We haven't done any stamping and we're almost on the outside of the card. Imagine that. All right. 
Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of our double stitched real red ribbon. I just love black and red together, it's so elegant. This is also from the mini catalog. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to put two glue dots each on the back. So I want the ribbon to come right across about here. So I'm gonna put a glue dot there. I don't know if you can see that or not on the camera. And then another glue dot at the same side on the back here. Okay, so I have a glue dot and a glue dot. And then this is the way that I can serve ribbon. So I'm gonna stick the ribbon into the glue dot, wrap it around. Okay, cut off enough to tuck it around the back and stick it into the glue dot. That way it's not as bulky when you glue it down as having a whole ribbon across and you save ribbon. Very economical. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, this ribbon is, um, you could, you could do a bow, okay? I did a bow here. It is a little bulky. So what I decided that to do is just to tie a knot. So you just wanna cut a piece of ribbon. You don't need it very big, about like that. Line it up where you want your, your bow to be and we're gonna cheat and we're just gonna tie it a little knot here, okay? And it still looks pretty cool. And it's a it's flatter than if you were to do a, a a real bow. Okay, but that's a cheap way to do it if if your fingers don't don't work. You can always take a glue dot and glue that down as well. All right. So if you don't like the way that it's sitting up like this, then take a glue dot. So we'll grab our take a pick tool. Grab glue dot here. I'm going to stick one here and just stick the ribbon down in it. And that way your ribbon will stay where you want it to. Um, this one I probably don't need one. We're good like that. What do you think? Cool, eh? All right, now we're actually going to stamp. Not much, but we are going to stamp. So I pre-cut these. Again, if you don't have a big shot or a die cutting machine, then you don't really need the uh, the fancy the fancy cutout die shape there. You can just use a regular rectangle or a, um, a banner. Anything like that would work. Okay, ink up. This is just memento. Any black ink would do, and center it down. Give it a lift up. There we go. Look, I'm already covered in ink. I did one stamp and I'm covered in ink. Okay, we're gonna pop this up. Now on this one, I put it out to the right hand side. I think I'm gonna put it on the left hand side. Let's see, how does it work? All right. What do you think there? Does that work? Or there? Yeah, I think there. Let's put it here. All right. And that's the front of the card finished. So all we need to do is adhere it down. Okay. And we're done. How easy. And it just, oh, I don't know. It's just, it's so pretty. It's so pretty and simple. Okay, so just line it up, center it, and you're done. Okay, let's go on to the inside. Now we get to do a little bit of stamping, still not much. Not a lot of stamping on this one. Let me just clean up my, my desk here so it's not a mess. You don't have to look at my mess. I should have a mat underneath here when you do it. When you're working with the um, photopolymer, often it's you get a nicer imprint if you have um, a cushioned surface. So I'm just going to stick 
my mat underneath. Okay, I'm moving this so you can still see. Everything is all mess now. You do want to make sure that you're not stamping off the cushion, though. I've done that before, and you make a big mess. All right, so again, I'm just putting some momentum, mom, memento ink here. I'm just gonna put the piano in the corner. And we're saying just a note on the front and then this inside, I'll just say of oh, thanks. Maybe add a note, what do you think? Cute little mu musical note there. I think we need two. Okay. Put the lid back on here so I don't get covered in ink because I will get covered in ink. I'm just going to add a little splash of color here. Not much. It's a very elegant card. So I'm just going to take, this is my dark real red blend. I'm not going to blend. I'm really just coloring. I do like the alcohol markers because you don't get the lines from coloring. So I'm just going to give a little splash of color and that's it. Say two. We are done. A little bit of glue. and place it in the card. There we are. Just a note of thanks. What do you think? Like it? I like it. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you enjoyed doing it. Very simple card, but very elegant card. Um, I said at the beginning of the video that I would show you a few more cards that I made with that set. Um, so here's a couple. I made these really quickly for um, my team at, at my other job. So it's just a really quick note, you know, just a note of thanks. We've just gone through a really, really busy time at, at work. Um, crazy, busy, crazy hours. We still have another week left of it, so I'm making my team just a little thank you note. And these are really quick, easy, cute, love it, cheery, um, using that same stamp set, the uh, Music From My Heart stamp set. Okay, so I had mentioned also that I this card is available in a class to go. So I want to show you the other cards. Oh, here's another example. So, um, you know the foil paper that we have? We have the black foil paper. So here's one just using the foil paper. I don't know if you can see the difference. Um, again, just stepping it up a little bit. If you have the foil paper, it looks really cool. I wonder what these would, what the keys would look like with the, with the black foil too. Uh, steps it up a little, makes it a little bit more glittery, but definitely don't need it but it is pretty nice all right so my class to go so how this is gonna work if you place a $35 order with me on my online store which is right here hopefully you can still see it and use this host code okay I will send you all the materials you need to make these three stamp these three cards so you'll get all the paper, everything will be cut, all the embossing will be done. You do, however, need to buy the stamp set. Okay, so that could be part of your $35 purchase. Um, stamping up does not allow us to do any stamping for you, so you do need to have the stamp set and your ink and your adhesives. So I will put a link at the bottom of this video that will send you over to my online class. So there's two ways that you can get it. One is you can place an order with me and then you get this for free. Um, the other, if you don't um, want to place an order or if, you have, if you're a demo demonstrator, but you do want to make these cards, then you can transfer me a $20 class fee and I will send the kits out to you, but you still need stamp set. Okay. 
hopefully that's clear if not just drop me an email make uh, let me know if you have any questions and uh, oh thank you Sandy thanks for uh, she said it looks good and she loves my card um, so if you would like to make these three cards I can send you the kits in the mail and uh, they're free with a $35 order. So just visit me at jenniferkirkstampingup.net and here's the host code. I'll have a list of all the supplies that you would need in order to make them exactly like I did. You can switch things out and if you know if you don't have a ink or um, you know a, an ink color or if you don't have you know the exact same things, you can switch things out with what you have, but I will send you a step-by-step -step tutorial as well of how to make each of these cards. All right, so I hope you guys have been able to go out and enjoy the beautiful day. It is absolutely gorgeous out there. Um, we are coming to the end, I can't believe it. We're coming to the end of February. So we really only have another month left of celebration. So celebration is if you spend $60 Canadian before tax and shipping, you get to choose a free item out of this brochure, okay? So it is while supplies last. So if we do sell out, um, then unfortunately we, you know, it is, it is while supplies last or until March 31st. So it's the best time to make purchases right now because you get free stuff and they are really beautiful. Like, look at this, this is gorgeous and it's free with a $60 purchase. So again, visit me on my online store, have, an amazing week. I hope you enjoyed this card and uh, we'll talk soon. We'll see you next weekend. Take care. Bye.